Welcome to the Clive Barker Podcast in part 21 of our Dungeons & Dragons game, Jericho Squad 77, set in the capital city of Isordorex in the Second Dominion. Squad 77 faces their deadliest battle yet to clear their name and rid the Fourth Dominion of a sea god that demands sacrifice. Now here's Bentley with a recap. Bentley Widget here. Uh, we just got through reporting to Jericho headquarters for updates and found out it was to extradite Richard Smitty to the Fourth Dominion to be executed for the crime of murder. I'm sure it was all my fault. I'm gullible and trusting, and there were so many emergencies that I never took the time to properly train them to be Jericho members. That should be me tied up to that post, and now Richard is going to be sacrificed to that sea god unless we fight like hell to stop it. After the destruction of Midian, after the unraveling of the fugue, after the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions, the Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin, guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. Right now we're in the makeshift hearing room in the aircraft hangar that borders the fourth dominion uh fourth and fifth dominion uh we're back to um billy she says okay having having heard the testimony from both sides i do agree that in the heat of battle uh sometimes we have to make hard choices and this could have been done in self-defense except this argument is belied by the fact that your group inexplicably carved up one of your fellow circus uh prisoners dragged his carcass through the streets while richard informed everyone uh to strut back to your vehicle um knowing that uh that this was done in this remorseless cruel and flippant fashion i have no choice but to vote for extradition uh and if there are no more uh comments i'll call for a vote and so she calls for a vote from the the uh the council and um there are four votes um uh, with uh four votes for extradition and one uh abstaining drovo conflicted himself out of the vote the i understand that this this is uh taking place this is going to be carried out in two hours uh you may take the prisoner and uh, Drovo uh, stands up from his seat and he says, um, I've never visited the beaches of Patashqua. And he puts a kind of a bandana over his mouth like a ninja. And he walks out of the room. And uh, and so they they um, they say, Richard, you'll have to relinqu relinquish your weapons. Uh, who do you want to leave them with? I'm going to relinquish all my weapons over to uh, Chortavir. Here you are, my friend. Please treat them well. <clears throat> Got Cassius' um... old sword in there. Don't worry. You, will, you won't be alone. You won't have to deal with this alone. We'll be there for you. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that, guys. Okay. And and uh, and uh, the the mayor says, try to be discreet with your you know don't go in there with a, an arm full armload of weapons standing in the middle of the crowd there will be a crowd there uh there's onlookers many of them see this as a as a, a weekly event if it looks like 
if it looks like this isn't a show, if it looks like this is some kind of revolution, they're going to come down on the whole town. So don't don't attack the don't attack the people. Yeah, please please don't attack the guards. <laughs> Even if it looks like the guards are attacking you, it's just an act. Theatrics. Yeah. All right. Take me away. All right. Yep. So uh, they 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 bind your hands and uh, and lead you in and into a into the back of a, a of an old um, van. And uh, the rest of you are free to follow however you want to follow. Um, the the event is going to ha- happen in two hours. It'll take you about uh, an hour and a half to get there. So you'll have uh, an extra half hour, half an hour to set up. What did you give me, uh, Cassius's sword? Richard? I gave you Cassius's sword, an automatic pistol, another short sword. Let me take a look at my inventory. Uh, a dagger of venom, a dagger of warning, some bullets. And I mean, I do have like uh, a ring of protection. Is that something that they want me to relinquish? It doesn't look like anything threatening. No, I think you could get away with that. So are we going to actually transfer this over? Or are we just going no, to- no. You can just you can just uncheck it or something until you oh until you have it again. I can't uncheck my tattoos. Right. Well, you can't. You're not taking them off anyway. <laughs> I don't know. This is Clive shows Barker. Up with the grater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, cheese grater. Cheese grater. In Sue knife. I don't know. A guy from the Damnation game. All right. Everything has been removed from my inventory that could be considered a weapon. Thanks for holding on to this for me. We're obviously going to be helping Richard. <laughs> I suggest that we try to find places that are to the sides of the crowd where we can be up front so we can sneak away and uh, be close to the action. So I, are we, we're traveling by ourselves to the location, Ryan? Uh, yeah. So how do you want to get there? I mean, you can, you, you could, you could probably borrow uh, a vehicle from uh, Squad 78 if you want to. What do you guys think? We should hook up with the uh, Squad 78? Sure. Yeah, they'll let us. Seems like everyone's pretty mad at us right now. Yeah. I'm mad at us. I'm not. We gotta, we gotta work on the rules of engagement. Nah. Cool. So, is Renfro there? No. Well, he's not. He wasn't at the hearing, but he is back at right. their at their uh, headquarters. All right, so I'm I'm gonna ask whoever's there from Jericho Seven if we can have a lift to the village, to the beach. Uh, you you can borrow the van, yeah. Okay, sure. Who wants to drive it? Bentley says I'll drive. drive. Not sure to be here. <laughs> yeah, last time I crashed, I think. <laughs> Not a good driver. What happens when you don't commute and you work in a, a book tower all day in the library? Sucks to be you, Richard. <laughs> Can't help but feel it's my fault. Uh, I'm responsible for my own actions, man. <laughs> yeah, you didn't make him do anything. <laughs> I'm a wild one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't yeah, help you can that, hear uh, everybody right now. It doesn't help that Ralph goes dragging around dead dead creatures to eat. I mean, whatever happened to your your creator Baphomet? You know that you uh, shouldn't eat the flesh of uh, humans. You're okay. Well, then Ralph's gonna go climb up in this tree and hide. Okay. Again? So... Are they all tied to those poles? Yes. Okay. I think I'm going to get right at the back because it looks like I still have a running. St- um, bit that I can run in if I need to, and that way, if anybody gets hurt, somebody's here that can resurrect them. <laughs> or I can go to the side. What do you guys want? I mean, honestly, <laughs> that's what I thought you'd say. 
I still have a line that I can, you know, shoot some blasts from my hands or whatever. Okay, we're back on the record after some technical difficulties, and I am going to uh, share the map so you can see where uh, where people have been. Um... I see it. Yep, I'm going to place my character. Oh, wow! There's other people there, huh? Yeah, but I mean, they said that there was going to be an audience. Right. No, I mean other prisoners. All right, I'm placed. Where Where are you at? Oh, okay. And are you, how you've got, uh, you've got an automatic rifle and you've got Richard's handgun and his sword. Um, and you're out in the middle of the crowd. Okay. <laughs> I have the sword is hidden under my, uh, cloak. Can I can I try to hide it there? Um, yeah, make a sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand, okay. Yeah. Bentley's right. going kind of into the bushes here. He's not climbing the tree, but he's going to kind of hide in the into the bushes. I got a 19, 16 plus 3. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. What about your rifle? Huh, the rifle. Um can let's see. Can I can I approach Bentley in the bushes and ask him gent discreetly bury the rifle in the sand? He says, "Well, it'll be kind of hard to do that here in the bushes." Just put some some leaves and some sand over it. Just hide I'll, it yeah, I'll just set it down right here. Okay, sounds good. So it's gonna be where around that place there. That bush? well, Bentley is right here. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's in here? Yeah. Okay, I see him. Yep. And okay. Drovo is, gonna, is hiding with him. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, so I'll be here. My, my idea is that those guards are not going to be fighting me for real, so I can pretend to fight them while I move towards, you know, Richard. So we'll see if that works. Everybody's got the strategy? Actually, I think they're going to go a little closer because that's pretty far away from yeah. the action. Yeah. It's like they're taking a shit in the woods. Like, yeah, we'll be there in about a half hour. Yeah. Like, I need help now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Is everybody situated where they want to be? I suppose. All right. Sorry, real fast. Where's... um? Which uh, body is Richard? Middle. Middle. Copy that. Thank you. Yeah. Semblance warning, the constable. Uh, she goes up to the first person on the left there on the post. And she says, Bogo Super Sale. For the crime of stealing your neighbor's newspaper and milk deliveries, uh, you've been found guilty. Uh, you may make a speech. And uh, Bogo says, damn it, you know I didn't steal his newspapers or milk deliveries. He accused me because he wanted to do so. Uh, he wanted me to die so he could buy my house cheap. And Semblance goes, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> but once you found out about the accusation, didn't you break his windows and kick his dog? <laughs> yes, I did that. For the crime of kicking your neighbor's dog and breaking his windows, you've been found guilty. So go ahead and make a speech. Uh, and Bogo says, I just have one thing to say. Pitcher Rally is a complete moron. Good luck buying my house now, idiot. And then so Semblance walks over to the next person over. Uh, Pitcher Rally, you've been found guilty of making false accusations, which is also murder. Uh, do you have any final words? And Pitcher Rally says, I've got nothing to say to him. So then she walks over to Richard and says, uh, Richard Smitty, in killing one of the circus performers who that had surrendered, you have been found guilty of the crime of murder. Now is the time for last words while I make sure your knot is tight. And she walks around behind you and kind of, you can feel she's kind of loosening your, uh, your bonds. 
I'm so sorry for my behavior, everybody. I feel stupid for putting us in this situation. Please don't let me die. Is there any way I start I could... crying? Sorry. She says, I, I'm so sorry. May uh, justice be swift. And she whispers uh, in your ear, good luck. Thank you. Wait, why is she whispering good luck if it's already fixed? Well, you still have to fight the <laughs> crab. Have to fight the creature. Is, is there any way I can do while we're standing here? Is, is there any way that I can do like some kind of deception or something? Because I got this really bad feeling here. Where, where are you at? I'm literally right behind the crowd. I've got a walkway right down the middle. Okay, what did you have in mind? Well, because I have a spell called Death Ward, and it will okay. protect him from death. <laughs> oh yeah, you see how? What's the range on that? Uh, let me look on it. It is. It says one action touch duration eight hours. Uh, I have to touch him, so I'd, I'd have to be able to walk down there. I mean, can I like? yell out and say, we do something special in our little world. We say goodbye, and I have to give him a hug. Can okay, I do something? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, make a deception check. Okay. So you're going to yell that out? Yes. Okay, yeah, make a deception check. Oh, crap. Check. I only got a seven. Seven? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they, they all kind of look at you um, skeptically. And, They're gonna look at me and, skeptically uh, anyway. <laughs> and um, semblance looks over at the mayor, and the mayor nods, and and uh, and she says, "Make it quick." Okay. Nice. I'm so sorry. Oh, All right, let me walk up here. Okay. <laughs> do I? Am I allowed to walk up there? Since or do yeah. I still? Okay, so I will go yeah. up here. If you can control your, yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay, let me turn me around here. Okay, I'm gonna give you your nice big hug and do a death ward. Okay, <laughs> and uh, make us, does, what, what, does, does, does death ward, is that a, is that death, a um, it, material and, and somatic and verbal components? Verbal and somatic. Yeah, verbal and somatic. Okay, so no com material. So you have no. to wave your hands and, and say something. I'm so sorry. We didn't get to know each other very well. Okay. <laughs> take, take a death ward. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm yeah, going to go so, back to my spot now. Yep. So that uses up that, you use up that spell slot. Um, That's fine. Okay. I'll go back to where I was and cry. Okay. And then she goes on to the next person to the right of Richard. She says, uh, Parabola and Bacon, you were caught sneaking the into the empty tents, uh, stealing from the circus in the chaos that ensued last week. You've been found guilty of thievery. You may make your speech. And Parabola says, just get it over with. And Bacon says, come on, give me a fighting chance. How am I supposed to? And she says, hold on. And she walks over and starts whispering. Uh, and, uh, Richard, make a, make a perception check. See if you can hear what they're whispering. <laughs> Four. Okay, yeah, you, you can't really hear what they're saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, so after, after some whispering that looks like some arguing, uh, she ties a gag over his mouth. And then she nods at the mayor, and the mayor, uh, lights a what looks like a, a a firework you know and and it 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 launches over the over the ocean and pew, and then um and then there's a, a hush over the crowd and then you can start hearing them chanting Emmett, Emmett, Emmett. <laughs> um and uh and it takes it takes a little while and then after after a bit uh you start to see a procession uh, six uh, crab men, crab folk, come up out of the water and head towards the the first person on the uh, on the right. All I can hear is crab people, Bacon. crab yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> I 
One of them is wearing a crown uh, made out of coral. And behind those six, uh, there's a, a really a really huge crab that's like the, that's like the size of a small car, and it has uh, nets um, kind of tied to the back of its shell. So one of these goes up to the first person. So the one uh, the one that's wearing the crown uh, walks up to this person on the right side and takes his big old claw and smashes him on top of the head. And uh, you, it's hard to tell whether he's unconscious or uh, or dead. Uh, and then he goes around behind and uh, cuts the ropes that are binding him to the, to the post. And he does a decent job cutting the ropes. Doesn't cut him, his hands too badly. And uh, drags the person over into the net that's on the back of the giant crab there. Then he goes over to the next person. And does, uh, and does the same thing. Wham! Knocks him on top of the head, unconscious. And uh, goes around behind and cuts the ropes. Uh, doesn't do as nice of a job cutting the ropes that time and cuts his hands off. And uh, scoops up the hands and the body and throws them both into the net on the back of it and puts them on the back of the ram. So if you guys, you guys can interrupt me anyway. <laughs> you don't have to wait around. I cast oh. mage armor. Okay. Yeah, and, and I think mage armor lasts for eight hours, so you could have done that at yeah. any point during that, I think, leading up to this. Uh, okay, and then he goes up to Richard and uh, well i shimmy out of my uh my shackles there for sure i i cast edvard's edvard's black tentacles on that crab monster uh the big one uh no the one that's approaching uh richard oh okay where are you you're where are you at Oh, oh wait. Uh, yeah, I'm way over there. So how does that work for spells? Let me check to see what this spell says. Um, Edvard's Black Tentacle. Let me see if he's in range. Hang on. Oh. Every square is five feet. Yeah, isn't there a way for... Oh, there we go. 45. Okay, so he is within range. Because it says 90 feet range. Oh, okay. This says that squirmy ebony tentacles fill a 20-foot square on the ground that I can see within range. For the duration, these tentacles turn the ground in the area into difficult terrain. When a creature enters the affected area... F Wait a minute. But this is going to attack Richard too, right? I if he's in range, yeah, it would. Oh. Yeah, it would, it would be in range. Cause you can set it so that he's out of range, though. You don't have to put it. You know, oh, yeah, you can put it on the, so that Richard's on the outskirts of the range. Oh. I can actually cast that and uh, get most of those guys trapped, right? And and um, and maybe the even the the um, the, the giant monster. crab. Yeah. How would I see where I can get twenty feet? Uh, Rob's can draw the range there. Hey. Yeah. Awesome. Hey. So how about? So how do you want to center that? If it if we center it like that, will the crab also be into difficult terrain, the big one? Yeah. 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 Well, at least okay. his claw is right there. All right. Let's do that. Let's cast Evard's Black Tentacles. So I've cast that. I've taken the slot, and I've cast Evard's Black Tentacles, and these squirming ebony tentacles come out of the floor, huh? Yeah. And so we're going to um, have everybody roll initiative because combat is starting now. I like this spell. The spell is cool. Yeah. I'm glad I was uh, able to finally use it. I rolled a seven for initiative. I had a uh, 20 total. I rolled a nine plus two, nine, 10, 11. 11. All right. So Churduvir got his uh, free surprise round. And, um, and first up is going to be Musette with a 20. Okay, uh, since we're fighting, I'm just going to go ahead and do um, Cloud of Daggers. And we're going to stick it. Come on. Come back. 
Sorry, it's taking a minute for my... There it is. Oh, Musette um, is down there in the corner. Okay. Yep, I'm down in the corner. Um, I should be within range. I think it's 60 feet or 50 okay. feet. 60 feet. Um, but I'd like to put it in between the tentacles and the giant crab. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that it'll hit. It'll Where? probably hit yeah. one guy. Those people. Those guys are kind of hard to. S oh, yeah. Because they're I underneath see them. The tentacles. Yeah. There, there's one guy like by the by the crab's pincher down on the bottom of the tentacles there. So you could hit like one guy and a pincher if you wanted to. Uh, you know what? No, let's uh, put it on top of the crab completely. Just okay. On top of his main body crab parts. Okay. And it says, uh, fill the air spinning daggers in a cube five feet on each side, centered on a point you choose within range. Okay, creature takes 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the spell area for the first time or on a turn when it's starting there. By the, and in Baldur's Gate 3, Cloud of Daggers is super helpful in that game. E yes, it is. It e is. I use it to block hallways and stuff, so monsters run through it to get to you, and then they kill themselves on their way through. Yeah, you bottleneck their <laughs> way through. It's so good. Yeah. Um. Yep. Okay. Well, I don't. It's hard to see. Where is that? Are we gonna put him on top of the crab? Sorry. Okay. Bro. That's my fault. Oh, I see. He's uh, he's making the tentacles a, a, a little less opaque. That's good. And then that's that square is the cloud of daggers. Uh, can we put him on top of the crab, Spotty? The the, the big crab. Yeah, I think he's crab. just yeah. Sorry, no, it's it's there my fault. There we go. It, yeah, I moved it last minute, so I apologize, Rob. Uh, yeah, and then it says, I guess I'm going to do it from the fourth level. So it's 8d4 damage. Oh, wow. Um, and does he take the damage now or at the start of his turn? It says when it enters the spells area for the first time on a turn. Okay, or okay. its turn starts there. Okay, so when it gets to his turn, rem if I don't remember, remind me that he's got to take all that damage. 8d4. Okay, yeah. copy that. That's, that's going to be huge. All right, and that is that your turn? You're gonna move or do a bonus action or anything? Nope, I'm perfectly happy where I am. Thank you. Okay. Next up is Bentley. He's gonna move to here and fire his pistol at this guy, at this one right here. Oh, that's a 14 to hit. That's a miss, and 25 is a hit. 13 damage to that guy. Okay, and that's uh, that's the end of Bentley's turn. And next up after Bentley is going to be Zoe, and then Ralph will be next after Zoe. Okay. Um, so since there's already a cloud of daggers going on, I was going to do Spirit Guardians. I think what I'll do, summon Celestial, because um, it's got a range of 90 feet. Oh, okay. I can just go go ahead and stick that, and it can whop the um, the crab and the the crabby people, I guess. So this is like There's summoning you're, you're summoning an angel to come out and help yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Well, it says you wow. you call forth a celestial spirit. It manifests in an angelic form in an unoccupied space that you can see within range. This Does he go on on your initiative or on his own initiative? Uh, this cre creature is an ally to you and your companions in combat. Uh, the creature shares your initiative count, but it takes its turn immediately after yours. Do they it give you the, it, the stats on that thing? Uh, let's see, one action, 90 feet, uh, VSM, and it's concentration. No, not the stats for the spell, for the creature once it, you cast it. Uh, yeah, uh, armor class is 11 plus the level of the spell, which would be 5 plus 2, as if it's defender only. Uh, hit points is 40 plus 10 for each spe spell level by fifth, but I'm only doing it as fifth. Is it a defender then? Um, like defending Richard or is he going to attack? It, it, uh, I, I choose Avenger or Defender. Yeah, is it going to be Avenger or Defender? Uh, um, let's do Avenger because we need okay. as much muscle as we can get. We got a okay. giant crab to kill. So, do you need the rest of the stats? 
Uh, no, no. I just wanted to make sure you have them. Okay. Um, so that I don't any... have to do it. Uh, um. And it also has... Uh, for Avenger only, which is what I'm choosing, is Radiant Bow, ranged weapon attack. Okay. My, my spell attack modifier to hit. Okay, so let's put him... Can we put him, like, right in... Let's see, pull this up. Can you... It's not moving here. And I'm gonna move... I'm, I'm gonna move me so you can see where I want him. I want him, like, okay. right around here. So he's got, like, a... You can go either way. <laughs> Hit, oh. Either hit the crab or hit the crabby man. Or, well, what do you think, guys? Should I take out the crabby man or the crab? What do you think, think is the the, the crab? Probably the crab, yeah, because it's that, bigger. Yeah. Well, so we all just attack it as much as possible. Okay, a lot so, of turns with damage coming from every one of the small guys. We could wipe those guys out before we even have to deal with the big crab. Oh, Otherwise, nice. That, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Take out the yeah. small guys first. Yeah, the long because they're gonna fruit. have more hits. Well, yes, not, not. yay! So, do you you think here? Yes. Okay, let's let's put him here. Okay. Move me back here. And he goes on your initiative. So does he get to does he get to do stuff on this when he gets summoned right now, or does he have to wait till yes. next turn? Yes. As as soon as I've taken my turn, which I have, then he gets his turn. Okay. And it says uh, it obeys my verbal commands. Uh, so basically, go get him, boy. Um, if you don't issue any, it takes the dodge action and uses it to move to avoid danger if need be. Um, all right, so go do your thing, dude. Go ahead and place it wherever you want it. She. Uh, oh, I think that's oh. where she wanted it. it was where oh, you okay. It, you right? want me to place it? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were placing it. Okay, there we go. I want him there. Okay. All right, so what's this uh, angel dude gonna do? Which is he gonna attack A, uh, crab folk number letter A? That that yeah, that's the most likely since he's right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess have him roll roll to hit. Okay, and it says radiant bow. Well, uh, he's at point blank range, so does he also okay. have a sword? Or does he only have a bow? Um, I do not see anything on here about any other weapons, unless it's in defender mode, which it's not. So it's. Yeah, I be would. The bow. I would have started him a, a ways away then, because right in its face, that will be a disadvantage. Should I? Should I move him back then? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second here. I thought it had a sword or something. No, he's just got he's got the bow for Avenger and a mace for Defender. Okay. Is is five feet and enough or? You, as far as well, it's whatever you want to do. That's, I mean, because it's five. No. Well, I'll get. I'll make. I'll move him two spots back then. Attack modifier, plus four. I rolled a seven. Yeah, that misses. Does he get two hit two attacks or just one? Uh, it. I believe it only gets one. Let me go here, back here. Uh, da, 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 da. Half the spells level rounded down in number of attacks. So what level is it cast at? Five. Oh, so he gets two attacks. Okay, so I roll again. The 20 yeah. side to die? Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, seven. Okay. Yeah, he missed. Oh, crap. All right. Um, and so next is uh, Ralph. Hi. And then hey. Shirtovir will be after that. So these, um, you see where Drobo is? And in front of him, there's these three dudes with guns. Who are they? A guards, I think, from the village. Guards. guards. Those three guys above me, a couple of squares. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. are the guards. Those are guards, uh, so we're gonna fight, the... fight us, but but not really. So they're gonna fight us. Well, yeah, they're gonna fight us, but not too hard. They said they would try not to. They not have to make yeah. They you weren't there, but they said they're gonna make it look like they're gonna try to stop you, but they're not really gonna hit you. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're advising you against 
engaging the guards. That's what yeah. Basically they said whatever. if you engage the guards, the deal is off and there's no pardon. Okay, so yeah, but he wasn't there for that. Yeah. So don't yeah, mess with exactly. guards. Okay. Let's focus on the crab, crab boys, and crabby boys. And Richard's been released, right? Yeah, Richard's out. Okay, cool. So you're gonna move. You can only move six spaces, I believe, right? Six spaces. So that was three, four, five, six. Got 120 range. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna aim at letter A, this little A guy. Okay, that's who everybody's been aiming at so far. Oh, well then I'm gonna aim at this guy right in front of Smitty. No, well that's good, right? Because that, that then you could kill him. Okay, what, okay, A, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna just. Uh, I'm not well, trying to discourage you. I'm piling <laughs> on A. Yeah. <laughs> Except for me, I got big fat boy. Yeah. Sorry, Emmett. <laughs> 40. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'll put it up here. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, I can do my Eldritch Blast. Okay. You get two now, right? I got two. Yeah. Hits. So, you have to roll, roll to hit twice if you're bo doing both of them at him. Right. 11 plus 7. Yeah, so that'd be 18, so that hit. 18. Yeah. 18. And then you got to roll your damage. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's this one, right? Whatever it says on your Eldritch Blast. Yeah, 1d10 one one plus D10 something. Plus 3. That's this one. No, that's 8. That's this one. Okay. That's 2. Plus 8. Plus 8. Plus, no, plus 3. Plus 3, so Is 5. 5, five, five on the okay. first one. And then you got to roll the hit again for the second beam. So that's 19 plus 7. 26. So that, I'm assuming 26 hits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then that's 10. 10 plus, uh, plus 3, 3 is 13. 13. Okay. Dead. Okay. He is not, but he's ah. a, uh Cherdovir. All right. So I <laughs> am going to jump into the bushes over here where I know that there was a gun that uh, Bentley hit. Okay? And I'm, I'm just going to jump in here in the bushes and try to dig up the gun. So I moved, uh, what, like a couple of squares into the bushes? Yeah, and, and you see that Bentley didn't really bury it. He just kind of put some leaves on it. So it's not hard to dig up. So I grab that and I draw my uh, silken sword. And can I still move a few more... Uh, squares yeah uh how many did you move so far i think just a couple right a couple yeah so now yeah. i move another four i think One, yeah two, three four i'm right behind bentley and i'm rushing towards uh richard i would say i could i would say that grabbing that gun off the ground would be a bonus action you didn't have to use a full action to do that Okay, so, you're so if you want to use a full action to double move, you could do that. Oh, I could? Okay, cool. Yeah. So I could move another six squares, right? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. I'm right behind this guy here. Okay. The guy who was accused of kicking someone's dog, I think. No, he, he was the one. He was the accuser. He was the one that accused him of stealing his... Uh, yeah. Stealing his newspapers and his milk bottles. Because he wanted to buy his house cheap. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to rush towards Richard so I can cut his binds with my sword and give him the gun. Okay. So I think at this point, I st I'm still rushing towards him, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, now it is the crab folk's turn. So uh, at the start of their turn, I think that now they're going to take all this Evard's black tentacle damage first. Uh, so what is the, um, what's the, can you roll the damage for that? And what's the saving throw again? Because I have to, I have to do right. that for all of them. It's my dexterity saving throw. Okay. Or take 3d6 bludgeoning damage. Okay. So, uh, and dexterity, what is the number? Dexterity 15. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we'll I'll just do them in starting on the top row and working the way down. So with I. So you're you're gonna throw dexterity saves for all the crabby people and then I roll the damage for each one. Okay, so I passed. 
He got a 17. Okay. And A got a 16. He passed. Mm -hmm. Wow, geez. G got an 18. He passed. <laughs> uh, F got a 4. So he Yay! failed. <laughs> H got a 4. He failed also. J got a 4. What is with this die? Okay. That's three fours in a row. And then uh, the giant crab got a six. Nice. I got four of them. Yay! Yeah. Yes, so he's a, they, I guess he's a soft failed. shell crab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll that damage for the um, for the tentacles. And we'll apply that to all of them. All of them. And it, does it do half damage for the ones that passed? There's yeah, they're not damage. restrained and they don't take damage. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, All so right. I rolled 14 for damage, 3d6. F, H, and J all take 14 damage. But next turn, they have to do a dexterity saving throw again unless they move out of the area, I think. This one is going to move out of the area and he's going to attack Richard. So, uh, Richard, your your bonds are loose enough that you can just kind of shake them off, and you're free to dodge and stuff. So you you're not at any kind of disadvantage. You're not really restrained. You're okay. just kind of ho holding those on. Sounds so good. He is going to attack you with his claw. He got twenty three to hit. Well, that definitely hits. Okay. And you take seven damage. Ouch. Yeah. And he's uh, he's going to attempt to grapple you, so he grabs the claw around your body. Uh, so um, make a, make an escape. You can either you can either use um, use a, a dexterity saving throw or or a strength saving throw, whichever one's better. To get out of it. Strength saving throw, and okay. I'll do that now. You got to beat a fourteen. I got a twenty-nine. I think that's better than fourteen. So yeah, you're yeah, and you're able to 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 uh, to get out of it. You uh, and push your way out. All right. Uh, and he 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 can make two claw attacks, so he's he swings his other claw at you. Good lord. And that and he misses. Okay, oh, so that's oh. that guy. And A is rushing over at this angel that attacked him. And he's going to swing at it. Uh, that's a miss. I'm assuming he that's a um, nine to hit, right? What's the angel's armor class? Okay, so... 16. 16? Yeah, so it, nine will yeah. miss. And one more attack. Jeez. Uh, also a nine. I keep rolling fours with this die. Now you know how okay. I fell with the seven. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then uh, G is going to also go after the angel. Natural 20, so he got a critical hit. So, oh, and he got uh, max damage, so that's 16, 32 damage to the angel. Okay, it's got, 40 hit, it's got 40 hit points, so... It's still okay. alive. And it's and uh, he needs to make a strength a saving throw or dexterity saving throw to get out of the claw because it's grabbing him. Uh, uh, strength is 16 plus oh, three. So plus three, okay. Okay. Four. <laughs> Look okay. what you did. <laughs> so he's grappled. So the, yeah, your, your angel is, is uh, grappled. Okay, and uh, we did two attacks, right? We had one miss and one critical hit. Is that right? I right. forget. Okay, yeah. so he's done. All right, and then these guys, they already took their damage. And now they have to make uh, escape because they're from getting grappled by the tentacles, right? Or no, they are already grappled because they already failed. They can use their action to break free. Oh, okay. To strength uh, or dexterity. Uh, and and that was uh, they have to beat a fifteen, right? Yeah. 
Okay, they're gonna use strength. Because their dexterity is not very good. 18. Uh, 16, so they all break out. Can they can so they can move now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just their action. Right. So this one is going up here. This one is going over here. And this one is going here. Okay, that's their turn. And also, uh, one of them yells. He goes, Ooh. He makes a super loud uh, sound. Like blowing on a seashell horn or something? Yeah. And these were just the small crabs, right? Not Emmett yet? Don't know. Okay, well. Hey. Oh, sorry. Okay, and now it's now it is the the giant crab's turn. He takes uh, his damage from the cloud of daggers. Yeah. Yay. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's what and, I was And and the tentacles, right? So how how much yeah. was the tentacle damage again? Uh 14. 14, and he's got a roll to get out of that. He's got to beat a 15 dexterity saving throw. He did. He got a 14, so he's 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 uh he took the damage. Yeah, and now the cloud of daggers. Okay. Cloud of daggers. We're doing it as an 8d4. Yeah. So can you help me remember the eight? Eight. Because okay. I have to do this eight times. Okay. Okay. So four. Hold on. Let me pull up this thing. That way I can use, I don't have to use my brain. Okay, so it was four. Four, yeah. Plus four. Okay. Plus two. Okay. Plus one. Okay. What is that, four times already? Okay. Plus one. Okay. Ah. Plus four. Okay. Plus one. What are we at, six? One, two, three, four, five, six. That was seven. Seven, seven. okay. This is the last one. Four. Four. 21. 21. 21 damage? Okay. 21, yep. Nice. Okay, so yeah, he's taking some damage from that and uh and it's pull he pulls his claw is, is jammed in the tentacles and it can't get it out. So he's stuck there in the in the tentacles and in the cloud of daggers. The big claw? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and now is Drobo's turn. He can go 45 feet because he's a monk. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's going to fight F. So first he'll use his silken sword. That's a miss. And he's got one more attack. That's a hit. Seven damage. He's going to use a key point and do flurry of blows. So he gets to do two uh, unarmed strikes. So he'll he'll also kick him two times. <laughs> 16, that's a hit. And so 12 more damage. Another one. Two F. Oh my God. Okay. And that's the end of Drobo's turn. And after Drobo is Richard. You got uh, you got Chernovir behind you, and you've got uh, crab folk attacking you in front of you. All right. And what's the range for opportunity attacks? If I just move into you, the you square. have to get you have to get out of his combat range. If you can slide over into that one, you you wouldn't be getting out of his range, so that doesn't count as an opportunity attack. Like if you got more than five feet away, it would. Yeah, so like that you can do. If I'm right here, that's still five feet away, right? Yeah. Yeah, right, that would so be that... like 
That would be going behind the post, even though on the map it, it's, you know, kind of funky, but you're going behind the post. So I run behind that uh, that pillar, that post there, and I look at uh, Chur de Beer. I'm like, toss me the sword. And so hopefully he's able to do that, even though it's not his turn. Maybe I just reach into his pocket and pull it out. However, we can facilitate me oh, regaining um, possession of the sword. And yeah. Like so, so did, did you have did you have it ready? Uh, yeah, it was hidden in my cloak, right? Yeah. Did Did you have it ready for him to grab, though? No, I had when... the gun in one hand and my silken sword in the other. Okay. So you. you... Okay. So you didn't have that ready to hand to Richard, though. Okay. Okay. So I just turn around, I'm like, holy crap, and I look at this guy posted up on this post, and I just, like, start on doing his bonds, and I tell him to run back behind this. Okay. All right, so you, you cut his uh, his bonds? Yeah, and I, you know, I instruct him to just kind of get behind us, and today's his lucky day. Okay. All right, <laughs> so he'll, uh, he's, you, you cut his bonds, and he's going to try to make a run for it. All right, and next is the guard's turn. Guards. Yeah. Guards. So the guards yell, "Hey, they're trying to they're trying to free the prisoners." And they um they take a swing at at uh this one takes a swing at Ralph. This one, well, uh and he misses. And then this one here takes a swing at Ra at you also. The middle one takes a swing at you, and he also misses. And then this one here takes a swing at you and misses. And Ralph just stares at them. They're stormtroopers. Okay. They're like, they're like, hey, you know, make it look good, man. Ralph. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, uh, out of the uh, out of the sea, uh, Emmett comes. I knew this map was big for a reason. Oh snap! Oh, oh okay. So the big, so our what I thought was the big crab Emmett was not the big crab Emmett. That's why you kept on uh, sidestepping that question. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I wanted two it, levels so. of misdirection because there's also one of those guys had a crown on his head too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think of it until okay. you said, "That's Emmett, right?" I don't. But uh oh. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna go up here. Let's see. That thing is huge. Uh-oh. Yeah, so it sees the tentacles, but I don't know that it, that it knows if there's anything it could do about that. So... And then the crab folk are all kind of uh, ganging up on this angel, so I don't know if he would help with that either. And then they're starting to surround Richard. I guess really it, all it can do is go after Musette. This episode is sponsored by Don Bertram's Celebrate Imagination. Don Bertram's Celebrate Imagination shop is dedicated to benefiting the arts and medicine program at Texas Children's Cancer Center. Over 50% of the proceeds go to the Texas Children's Cancer Center, where artist Don Bertram volunteers monthly. Don Bertram is a longtime friend of Clive and celebrates and continues to be inspired by his art. He uses that inspiration to help kids through the Texas Children's Cancer Center, and we couldn't be more thrilled to continue to work with him. There's a news feature video that shows Don working with the kids at Texas Children's Cancer Center and his artwork. Click the side banner at www.clivebarkercast.com to find links to the video and his Etsy shop where you can buy his prints, books, and support this wonderful program. Humanoid character artwork for Musette, Chertovir, Zoe, and Ralph by Asia Yordanova. She also created the Unbeheld in the opening title sequence. Jonathan Livingston Seagull artwork by Shayla Sackinger of Bird Ninja Art. 
Map of the Reconciled Dominions and His Order X by Marco Staines at Mark Stain Art. Jericho Squad intro composition, Cradle of Jersemet, provided by friend of the show, Ben Warren. Additional in-game music by Tabletop Audio. Bentley Widget here, smashing through the fourth wall like the freaking Kool-Aid man to tell you about our friends at Little Spark Films. Imagine you're sitting around the table eating waffles with your friends and they're all talking about this crazy new film they saw on Amazon Prime or Tubi or Plex. So you're like, yeah, it was totally scary. But you haven't seen it. And they can see right through you because you're maybe made out of glass like the Kool-Aid man. Don't be that guy. Go see The Torturer right now. Pause this thing. Watch it and come back. Support Joe and Catalina. Oops, I mean Ralph and Musette. Also, while you're supporting them, you might want to see their Hellbound Laments, short films featuring boxes from the Pyramid Gallery and configuration boxes. You should also check out Catalina's Barker and Briefs, where she reads Clive Barker books. Eureka! Eureka! Have you ever wanted to visit Fairbanks, Alaska? Catch the Northern Lights, visit Denali National Park, Sheena Hot Springs, or any of Alaska's other scenic destinations, come stay in our Eureka Airbnb. Use the code BarkerCast and we'll take 10% off your stay. Make sure there are cool Clive Barker decorations, books, and movies. Maybe you can even join us as we record an episode. Another great way to support the Barker cast is go to our Tee Public store and get one of our t-shirts. We've got Jose's Baphomet design, Jericho Squad, uh, Cenobium designs by Nina and Ed Martinez, Marcus's Pinhead design, and our old legacy shirts. Just go to www.teepublic.com slash stores slash BarkerCast. Ew. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that idea. <laughs> uh, well, first it's going to grab you with its pincher. Ah. So uh, that's 20 to hit. Uh, yeah, my armor class is 17. 24 bludgeoning damage uh, from wow. the pincher. Okay. And uh, make a uh, you can either make a dexterity or strength saving throw to get out of being grappled. Okay. Ugh, nine total. <laughs> okay, yeah, you didn't didn't get out. Yeah, and then he's gonna he's gonna uh, um, pull you up to his mouth and bite you. Oh man. Yeah, and if okay, you're, so if I already you're... took the twenty four, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Twenty two damage uh, from the bite attack. Ow. And he's keeping you in his claw. Okay. All right. And that's uh, that's his turn. He could grab somebody else, but there isn't really anybody else in reach right now. Okay. And then at the start of uh, at the all of the the crowd, at the start of their turn, they take off. They start screaming, and they see that Emmett's kind of going after the. They're afraid that they're next. So they start running into the into the trees there and take off. Twenty five feet out, yeah. And next is Bentley. He sees that. But he also sees that Richard's starting to get surrounded. So he's going to run down here and attack this one with his sword. So 23 to hit, and he's making two attacks. 16 to hit. So those both hit. So 27 damage to... Which one is that? F. That guy's hurt pretty bad. All right, you guys, you want to see Emmett? Oh, wow. Ah. 
Wow, that is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, that one. It's kind of like a horseshoe crab for a head. Yeah, wow, this one's really cool, and I, I don't even know how you got so many uh, people in the image together. All right, so where are we at? Oh, that was um, Bentley, and next is Zoe's turn. And then the and the angel. You can do that in whichever order you want. All right, what I'm going to do... Since the angel is surrounded by the crabby people, I'm going to move just a couple of spaces. I don't really need to, but it just seems like it helps a little bit. Okay. Um, and I'm going to... So he's, got one, two, three. he's got four surrounding him, so let me... Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to go after Mr. G here. Okay. And I am going to do... Uh, second level guiding bolt. We got plenty of range here. And cast that. And to hit. Got 21 to hit, so I definitely hit him. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and for the effect. 20. 20 damage? Uh huh. Okay. Um, can I? I can do a bonus action, correct? Yeah. All right. Let's see where I'm gonna look at my map real quick. Let's see. She's in his claws. One, two, three, four, five. She's thirty feet away from me. Um, I am also going to do. Let's see. I can see her, and I can see. Does anybody else need healing, or is it? Well, I, I think. Richard needs healing too, correct? Musette and, needs healing. M well, 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 well I know, but I can do. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking of mass healing word, which means more than one person can yeah, get I think this. Yeah, trying to do some math. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so it's her and Richard that both need healing, correct? How how far away can they be from you? Uh, sixty feet. So. Oh, okay. I can hit both of them. It says as long as it's uh, up to six creatures of your choice that you yeah. can see within range. And are you going to include your angel in that? Uh, am I allowed to? Yeah. Since he's not. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Because I, I don't right. think that that too many other people are hurt. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cast Mass Healing Word, uh, third level, as my bonus action. And everybody gets 13 points. Okay. Next is Ralph, and then Chertovir will be after that. I no my my spirit guardian. Gets a charge oh, right after me. Dang, sorry. Okay, so <laughs> let's. <laughs> That's why I got him, so it's an extra hit. Um, That's cool. Okay. Um, is the one that I hit, um, Mr. G there, is he looking poorly or is he still pretty strong? He's hurt. He's not like, he's not close to dead or anything. Well, the one that's hurt really bad is F. All right, let's go after F. Okay. Your your guardian is restrained. Oh, he is. Okay. Well, yeah. then I guess I'm. By a. I guess, okay. Um, do I need to do some kind of a, a roll to try to get him out of it, or or is he just kind of stuck? Well, yeah, he's being held by the claw from A, so. Yeah, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, he needs to roll to get out of it. Okay. And is that a or 20? He, or he can just stay in it and try to attack. But if he, he all, all he has is a bow, so he'd be attacking at disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, so should I... I should just go ahead and roll and try to get him out of it, right? Yeah. Okay, so strength this... or, or dexterity saving throw okay. for him. You got to beat a 14. Got to beat a 14. Okay. I did not. I rolled a 9. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So he's still stuck in there. I tried. All right. Now it is Ralph. Two turn. shots is better than one shot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I can only run up six spaces. And those guards just took swings at you. Guards. Oh, they did. And, and <laughs> as you run away, they take uh, half-hearted swings at you again, uh, but they miss. Do they accidentally? They knock say, "Hey, me? come back here. We're you're <laughs> not supposed to attack." That's a reaction. 
That's a reaction, right? I get a reaction. Yeah, that's, that's their reactions, yeah. Oh, I don't get a reaction from their failed attempt. Well, they're they're using their reactions to you get leaving their combat space. Yeah, I don't I don't have time for this. <laughs> okay. So, you have to read the I mean, yeah. you have to read the the reactions like I mean, uh, some of them are reactions to getting hurt. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm here now. Okay. Look at this bad boy, and I want a whole monster. Okay. Uh, uh, what d does it say that it works on gargantuan creatures, or is it is it uh, on, or is it only certain size? Spell has no effect on the undead. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make another Wisdom saving throw. On a success, the spell ends on the target. At higher levels, okay. when you cast a sp okay. So it doesn't say anything about the size. It doesn't say like on a medium creature or smaller or anything like that. Okay. Uh, he, this I, would be gargantuan. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything against okay. it. Cool. Um, All right. Yeah. What's the saving throw? Oh, uh, attack wisdom saving 15. At higher cool. levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of six level or higher, you can target one additional creature. Wisdom 15. All right failed i got an 11. okay so did i hit my pack slot uh yeah okay i hit it so i have the crab monster and a hold and yeah. i'm concentrating oh yeah so he's he's uh he's frozen yeah well, he he's paralyzed oh the big one yeah the big one is paralyzed until he he uh at the end of every turn, he has to roll a 15 on a wisdom saving. Or Did he, he drop Musette? <laughs> uh, not automatically, no. Ah. But I'll give you advantage on your on your saving okay. throw to get out of it. Because <laughs> I would say that he's not squeezing anymore. He's but he's he's kind of locked in place. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But you're fully okay. healed. No, I'm not fully healed, but I am healed. Okay. Uh, Trudovir. Yes. is next and then the crab folk will go after that okay so when do i go uh Not for a while i hand, I hand uh richard his uh sword okay yeah you and i'll say that that's your bonus action you don't have to do full action for that so what is that eye crab guy doing is he is he damaged is he dead uh that was the one that was attacking richard and he, I, let's see. He is not hurt at all. He hasn't been damaged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, close to him there. And I'm going to attack him with a booming blade. And make the melee attack. Uh, and attack it against them. I think, and... I think the booming blade is a bonus action that you add to your action of swinging the sword, right? Yeah. So you already did a bonus action by handing your sword to Richard. Ah, okay. In that case, I just will slash him with my silken sword. Okay, roll to hit. Let's roll to hit. And I get a 21. That hits. Okay, let's roll for 1d4 plus 4. That's 8 damage. All right. So are they more resistant to slashing because they got a, a shell or something? No, not really. They they just have a they, their armor class is a little higher than normal. Next is the crab folks' turn. Uh, this one is just got slashed by you, and he, that made him mad. Uh, I so he's gonna attack you. That is a miss and fourteen to hit. Is 14 hit? What's your armor class with your mage armor? It's 13 plus its dexterity modifier. My dexterity is plus 3. So I would have... 16. 16. 14 to hit. So you missed. He missed. So he missed you twice. Oh, and also when this guy, I forgot when the crowd was running away, uh, the guy that was tied up in front of Richard also tried to run away. And he got a uh, reaction from the... But he missed. So that guy was able to escape. Yes. Okay. So Rob, that I can't move that guy, but the one in front of Richard ran off up that dune behind you, behind Richard. 
So he used his reaction and now he's going to go up here and attack <clears throat> Richard. Nineteen to hit. Does that hit? Yes, that hits. And his other one, uh sixteen to hit. No. Okay. So you take five damage and make a strength saving throw again. 28. Uh, 28. Yeah, you've got your, you, he, he can't grab onto you, it seems like. And then the next one, let's see. Well, how much did you do the damage for that yet? Five damage. Yeah. All right. There's five damage. Okay. So Jay is going to attack Bentley. That's a hit and hit. So it's 11 damage, but he's got to make a grapple check. He'll do a strength saving throw. Oh, I can just click it. 28, he's not, he's not grabbed. This one here is going to attack Drovo. So a hit and a critical hit. 11 damage, 16 damage from the critical hit. A, who's grabbing the angel, is going to automatically get uh, two attacks on the eight, two damages on the angel. So, uh, six damage and seven damage. So, 13. And G is going to, I think that's G, It's going to run up to Zoe and attack Zoe. Yeah, natural one and natural 20. That's weird. Ah. We can do the chart. So he did hit me once. Yeah, and he got okay. a 90 on the critical fail chart. Let's see what that does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, he, he uh, swung at you and the sun got in his eyes and he was he's blinded, so he can't see you uh, uh, until the end of his next turn. <laughs> But he did get a critical hit on his other one. Okay, so... So he got 12 damage okay. from that. And make a strength or dexterity saving throw, whichever is higher, to get out of his claw. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to do dexterity because it's plus two. And it's... Let's see. Eight. Seven. Yep, he's got you. Oh, well. Okay, and Jay uh, attacked Drovo or Bentley twice, but he missed. And I think that accounts for all of them. Yeah. Hang on, I hit the wrong button. That wasn't that wasn't a saving throw I hit. Oh, okay. You can do it. Go ahead and roll again. Yeah, let me... I clicked on the wrong button. I'm sorry. Oh, that's better. 17. <laughs> okay, he didn't grab you. Okay, good. <laughs> I just looked at the... At the clicker and I was like, wait a minute, I hit the wrong one. Yeah. They were right next to each other. Okay, so I'm good. Is Trudevir still concentrating on those um, tentacles? Mm. Yes. I want to keep those tentacles um, there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess do they, they, they're they going to keep on hitting the giant crab, right? Right. So if if he is not, uh, if he's still restrained, then he needs mm -hmm. to do a dexterity uh, or strength check to see if he gets uh, loose or yeah. successful, uh, it frees itself. Otherwise, it'll take okay. um, it'll take the 3d6 damage. He, he got a natural 20, which is a 25. Oh, shoot. So, so he, he pulled out of it. Okay. And, he, and he moved out of the cube, but I think he takes the damage at the start of his turn, right? For the cube? Yes. Yeah, so he's he's, he's going to get out of the cube, but he's going to take the damage first. So I guess we need uh, we need Musette to roll the the damage for the last time on the cloud of daggers. Nineteen. Nineteen. Sorry. Nineteen damage. Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, yeah, you have something to okay. do. Okay. Sure. Uh, Tr Turtle here, take uh, take half of your hit points in psychic damage. What? Half of Just my kidding. Point? Oh, <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was like, what happened? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, 
25. 30. You made Lori's hair go red. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now it is Drovo's turn. Uh, he's hurt really bad. And he's gonna... F is also hurt really bad. So he's gonna stick it out. With his silken sword. That's a hit. Also a hit. 12 damage. So the, actually the first one... He just he killed him with the first hit, and then he steps over the corpse of that one, and attacks Jay with the second attack, and does nine damage to that one, because now he feels like he's on a roll. Yeah. And he's ignoring his. He's gonna, his, uh, he's gonna be soon on a roll as soon as we, as soon as we get that old bay out. And then he's gonna do flurry of blows again, thirteen damage to. Jay. Next is Richard. And then it'll be the guards' turn. Guards. Alrighty. Well, um, originally I was planning on attacking I a little further, but since uh, this medium-sized crab ran up on me... <laughs> he used to be huge, but now he turned, he's got downgraded to medium. He's only medium. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> I would like to slash him with this sword. Okay. Yeah, roll to hit. 24 to hit. That hits. 13 damage. Okay. And you, you get two attacks per action, so you can yeah, so time if you want. I would like to slash him again. Okay. For a 23. That hits. And six damage. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's looking a little worn out already after the being in the tentacles and the and the uh, yeah cloud of daggers. That was quite a bit of damage residually. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna stand here and just brace up. You know, I'm just gonna stand here and uh, prepare prepare for the next onslaught. So the guards. They run about uh, up about 20 feet, so about 10 feet behind Bentley and start yelling at him. Say, hey, stop what you're doing. You're interfering with our judicial system. Oh, there we go. Okay, yep, now I can. Like right there. They say, stop, stop what you're doing. And they, they even point guns at, at Bentley and they fire their guns up in the air. And this lady's yelling, why isn't anyone... Or it's not really a lady, it's just a, on the post it is. But this guy is yelling, why isn't anybody freeing me? Come on! <laughs> Your call is important to us. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, uh... All right, so Emmett, it's his turn. And he's got to he, he can't do anything. Yeah, so being paralyzed, right, it's at the end of his turn. He has to make a saving throw, a uh, wisdom saving throw of 15 to get out of this paralyzing, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, yes. He got a uh, four. Okay. Where's Muzet on the list here? I don't know. I oh. thought I was by Trudevere. I don't remember, though. You're at the top of the round. I never went. So after he grabbed, yeah. So go ahead and make your, um, with advantage, make your, we'll do your thing right now. And you'll oh. get two, you'll get two, uh, two, uh, two turns. Okay. Um... Well, I guess the first thing I need to do is get out of his uh, wriggle out of his claw. Yeah, and since and since he's um, you've got advantage because he's paralyzed. Okay. He's not. Yeah, he, he's not struggling. But you're just kind of jammed into his claw. Okay. Well, I would just like to get out of it, or I get. Um, I guess there's really no point in stabbing him to get you, out of it. You've got it. Yeah. Can I just weasel out of it? 
Yeah, you can either use dexterity saving throw or uh, or strength. Okay, dexterity saving throw or strength. You got to okay. beat a 17 and you've got advantage. So you can okay, uh, my first one for dexterity is 23. Okay. And my second one is 12. So yeah. Yeah, so 23, you, you're able to, to uh, slide out of that and drop down onto the ground. Yay. Okay. Okay. So you, then, you, you've got two turns because at the, we missed one, so. Okay. Oh, no, my, wait. I can't, <clears throat> there we go. Okay, sorry. So that yep. was your action on your first turn was uh, getting out of that. Okay. You've got a bonus action still and, uh, and half of your movement. Well, I'd like to move, so I'm move back here. You said half movement? Yeah. There okay, you go. so I'll just move three steps back. And, and you've got a bonus action. And then, and then you've got a full turn bonus. after that. And then a full turn. Okay, sorry. Um, and then let's do a bonus action. Where's my bonus? Oh, right here. Bonus. Um, I can either do healing word or misty step. I guess I can do healing word. Uh, Ralph or Zoe, do you need healing? Uh, I do not need healing. Zoe? Mine's not too terrible, um, because I'm at 40 out of 52. Oh, can I cast Healing Word on myself? It doesn't yeah, say you, I can't. You, you can, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to do that for myself. Okay. It's regained 1d4 plus 3. So where's my 4? Uh, 2 plus 3 is 5, so let's do 5 plus. Yay. And that's my bonus action. And then for my next turn, yeah. yep, is where we're you at, got, right? Yep. Okay. So you get so full full that. action, bonus action, and movement. Cool. Okay. Uh, I guess we will do cloud of daggers again, um, but from a second level. Okay. Put it on uh, his eyes. <laughs> okay. Well, I figured that the eyes are going to be easier to attack than his shell parts. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, let's see, this one is only going to be a 64, uh, five foot cube on each side. And he takes, uh, the 64 slashing damage when he enters the spell. Yeah. So on his turn. On his turn. Yep. Yeah. And okay. instead of eight. Thank you. Okay. And then Bentley is going to continue slashing at this guy, uh, Jay. Uh, it's a miss and hit 16 damage to Jay. And then after Bentley is Zoe, and then Ralph will be after Zoe. Zoe, you've got uh, G right in front of you there. Okay, I am looking right here. What I want to do is uh, let us do a second level guiding bolt actually okay. no yeah yeah second level guiding bolt on mr g there 21 to hit all and right he takes 13 of damage is he still kicking yeah oh crap okay and well. uh and so he's he since he got hit by guiding bolt the next person that attacks him gets disadvantage because he's glowing. Okay. Uh, for my bonus action, I'm gonna do third level healing word, or excuse me, mass healing word. And I want to heal uh, Drovo and the Guardian. Okay. Uh, Be how's Bentley doing? I, I know he took some hits. Bentley, let's see, Bentley's Okay, he's, he's at 52 out of 63. Okay, so Drovo and the Guardian, I'm going to go ahead and do that on them. Okay. Let's see, third level mass healing word. 12 points each. Wow. Nice. And then it'll be the Guardian's turn. Hopefully it'll be able to do something. <laughs> Zoe and then Ralph? Uh, the Guardian first. Oh, he Guardian, sorry. Right after me. Yep. Oh, yeah, so he's still grabbed by the... Uh, J. Okay, so let's see if we can wiggle ourselves out of it. Or no, A, sorry. Yeah. Alright, so I'm a rolling. Oh, Plus three. come on. 
Ugh. Oh, I rolled a one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he still grabbed. Yeah. Uh, now it's Ralph's turn. What's this thing sticking out of its eye again? Remind me. That's the cloud of daggers. Oh, okay. Well, I'm about to get up in that nonsense. Yeah, it only takes up five squ- five feet. You just don't want to step in it. Five. Yeah, it's right in my way. I'm about to take one a hit for the team. Right here. I'm going to concentrate damage. All right. Um, I want to use the arms of Hadar. Okay. And I, and I literally have to be like right here in order for it to take effect because it does a it's a it's a ten foot radius around me. Right. Yeah. Uh, you, you invoke the power of Hadar, the dark hunger uh, tendrils of dark energy erupt from you and batter all creatures within ten feet of you. Each creature in that area must make a strength saving throw on a failed save. A target takes two d six necrotic damage and can't take reactions until its next turn. On a successful save, the creature takes half damage but suffers no other effect. You could uh, do one space back and still not and not be in the cloud of daggers. Oh, it's less dramatic that way, but okay. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fine if you want it. <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> At higher levels, when you cast this spell using a spell slot of second or higher level or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 for each slot level above one, uh, first. And I'm doing this at level 5. Okay. It says damage 6d6. He gets damage on my turn. Okay. And then on his failed saving throw, he gets 2d6 necrotic damage and he can't take reactions. Okay. So what's the saving throw? Strength 15. 15. Strength? Okay. He got a 16. Oh. You for real? Yeah. 10 <laughs> plus 6. <laughs> Well, then I'm just gonna frickin' bonus attack him and go Hungry Jaws. He gets half damage. That's right. Yes. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and roll the damage still. Okay. <laughs> I'm still gonna do Hungry Jaws. Okay, so total... Was 11. Is 11. Okay. Well, wait. Yeah, total is 11, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a 6. All right. <laughs> Got it. Okay. And then I'm going to do Hungry Jaws. Okay. You're going to bite him? Yeah. So you rolled a 10 plus 5? So 15. Yeah, that misses. Okay. He is super heavily armored. Okay. Uh, and Chertovir. I didn't And then the, then the crab folk are going to be next. Um, so... Uh, that um, intermediate crab behind me, that medium-sized crab. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Is he attacking me yet? <laughs> he he hasn't he hasn't attacked anyone yet. Okay. Uh, but I'm being attacked by I, right? Because uh, he used his action to get out of the tentacles. I am going to turn around, and I'm going to attack that giant crab with cloud of daggers. Okay. All right. It says a creature will take 4d4 slashing damage when it enters a spell area for the first time on a turn. Turn yeah. or starts its turn there. Higher level. So I'm casting this at fourth level. It says when you cast this spell using a spell slot of third or higher level, the damage mm-hmm. increases by 2d4 for each slot level above, above second. So I'll have to, if I hit him, I hit him with 8d4. And the damage increases by 2d4 for each slot level of seconds. So be two. Well, if you're looking at it, uh, if you're looking at it at fourth level, they've already added that in. Okay, in that case, yeah. it'll be 8d4. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that when it gets to his turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and then so that was your action. Do you gonna do? Um, oh, that's a concentration spell. So your tentacles will go away. Yes. So I don't need the tentacles anymore. There's nobody there. I, uh, I will focus on uh, the new spell, so the tentacles can disappear. Okay. And crab folk. So we'll start with I, because he just saw you turn around, and he's going to attack you. Oh no! He's <clears throat> yeah, don't turn your back on me. 
<laughs> oh, you heard that? <laughs> no, that big crap behind me seemed like a big one. So 12 uh, <laughs> to hit on the first one, and 13 to hit. I think those are both misses, because you're at a 16, right? 16, yes. Yeah, so he missed with both. He misses miserable. <laughs> It's like he tried to attack me two, four times now, and all four times it skids off my arm. And and Jay is going to attack Bentley, miss, and miss. And H is going to attack Bentley, miss, jeez, miss and hit. Okay, five damage to Bentley. A is going to do two attacks against the angel creature that automatically hit because he's grabbed him. Eight and. Nine. 17 damage to the angel creature. He should be dead by now because I think he only had 40 hit points. Oh, are you are you keeping track? I thought you were. No. Okay, well, he's definitely dead now then. Okay. He has 34 hit points. Killed him. Okay. He, or, I don't hear how much he just took, but he had 34. And then he just okay. took 17, so it still should be... Because you healed him twice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Never mind then. So if he, if he was yeah. 34 and he just took 17, then he said 17. Yeah. If you know, Thanks, on Rob. your characters and your the creatures, <laughs> Thank you. you, on your characters and the creatures you summon and stuff, you got to keep track of their hit points because like I'm, I, I'm sorry, yeah. I thought you guys were. So. Okay. But I knew it was getting close either way. <laughs> I, I knew it was probably going to be one or two hits. That was A and then G. A uh, natural 20 to hit uh, and two two natural 20s to hit. Ah! Uh, okay. Uh, What's the damage? Um, well, minimum and doubled. So 12 damage on the first one and 18 damage on the second one. Wow! So 12 plus 18. 30. All right, so yeah. I'm down to 10. Okay. Nice. And make a, a saving throw again to get out of being grabbed. Okay, I'll do the dexterity saving throw. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Ugh, four. Okay, yep, you've been grabbed. Huge crab. Who doesn't like being called medium crab? Intermediate. So <laughs> he's a venti crab. <laughs> a dainty boy. Okay, he's gonna do one attack against uh, Truvier and one against Richard. He takes uh, oh, cloud of daggers. Yeah, the first, first is cloud of daggers. Yeah, go yeah. ahead and roll the cloud of daggers damage. Uh, and it's a sixty-four. We're talking to me, right? Uh, no, this one is, this is Chertovir's Cloud of oh, Daggers. Sweet. I got Cloud wow. of Daggers. Woo! 25. I got 25. Jeez. That hurt him a lot. Nice. He's been hit by multiple clouds of daggers. Everywhere he goes, these clouds of daggers pop up. Uh, but he got a natural 20 to hit uh, against Chertovir. Well, I'm still at full hit points, so bring it on. Okay, he will. Let's see. Famous last words. Yeah. Oh my god, he's the size of a car. What have I done? 64 damage. Oh wait, I forgot to add five uh, and double that. So 74 damage. Uh, I'm unconscious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so I guess he's he's also got you grabbed because you can't, you can't roll to get out of it. Oh my god. Okay, well... I guess I'm going into death saves on my next. Well, you, you did tell him to bring it on. Okay, and then <laughs> Richard, uh, sixteen to hit with his missed. other claw. Okay, he missed. <laughs> well, he did. He did. Uh, he did hit Musette with it. Ow! But no, it wasn't a critical hit. Yeah, forty ten plus five, and it was doubled. Okay. Uh, Did you eat the big crab? Yeah, so he is going to get out of... Oh, he's going to get out of that. You know what they say, sometimes you eat the crab and sometimes the crab eats you. Well, actually, 
Actually, because you're unconscious, the cloud of daggers disappeared. So he doesn't need to get out of the cloud of daggers anymore. Drovo just saw Jirdovir go down. And he is going to try to run over and help you. Because you're his brother. Well, he's going to take an attack of opportunity for doing that. They missed. Okay. 5, 10, 15. You're getting an attitude with Drovo. 20. And now he, yeah, and now he's going to do two attacks with his silken sword. 15. That hits. And hit. 16 damage. And then he's going to do flurry of blows again. So one hit on flurry of blows and one miss. So seven more damage. And now it is Richard's turn. And this creature is, uh, the, the crab is, is in pretty bad shape. But it's holding on to, uh, it's holding on to Chertovir's unconscious body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Strung along uh, like a pup. Don't worry, Chur. I'll get you out of there. And I swing down on the, uh, the little bitty crab in front of me. Okay, uh, 15 hits. Oh wait, the, the J or? No, I'm... the big, the big blue crab. I said, oh, little... oh, okay. 15, that hits just barely. That's what you needed. And eight damage. Okay. All right. You got one more attack. That 21. Hits. 21 hits. And I slap him with 13. Oh, wow. Okay. He's not, he's not dead, but he's in really bad shape. Well, then I want to action surge and okay. slap him again. You, that gives you two more attacks. Okay. okay. So I'm going uh, to bring Cassius Briar's old sword down. Okay. Both hands over my head with a 27 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And I slash him for seven more damage. Okay. All right, he's still up. And then I reverse swing it back up through his body for a 21 ah, to hit. That hits. For eight more damage. Okay. He is still up, just barely. And I grunt in frustration. <laughs> yeah. And I tell Cheritavir, keep hanging on, man. <laughs> don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay so the guards uh, the guards run over and they go what are you doing stop and they go don't attack them you you can't do that and they point their guns at bentley and they start firing and they're gonna make a sleight of hand check and they're gonna actually aim at the crab folk that was terrible also terrible. So they may get really obvious that they're not really aiming at Bentley, uh, but they start firing at the crab folk. Miss and a critical hit and a miss. Uh, 16 damage to Jay. And that was exactly how many hit points Jay had. So Jay is dead. All right, next is Emmett's turn and First uh, is the Cloud of Daggers damage, which he cannot save against. He just has to take it. So how much is that? Is that mine now? Oh, yeah, yeah. because yep. because uh, Jose is messed up. Yeah, well, yeah, Jose's was on the on the other crab. Yeah, it was on the other crab, yeah. Yeah. Um, four, two, four, four, one. How many is that? No, oh, we need one more. No, it's uh, two, four, five. Yeah, it's five. We need one more. No, plus one. Oh, you don't. Sixteen. Do, I thought you did this eight times. No, this is a new cloud of daggers, and it is now six times. Oh, okay. It's sixteen. Sixteen damage. Okay. Ah. He's gonna move out of it. Does Ralph come with him? Since Ralph is uh, on top of him for a ride. Ralph was on top of him. Yeah. I thought he was right in front of him. No, he was on his leg. Oh, well, you would have had to make a dexterity check to go. I didn't know you were actually going on his leg. 
Oh. That'd be really hard to do. Uh, make a make a dexterity check to get on top of his leg. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a five. Okay, yeah, you did. Is that an ability check? Or did you just tell me to do an ability yeah, check? Yeah, ability check. Hold on. What do I need to pass? They can add a d4 to the roll. That seems like it'd probably be a waste. They would just bring you up to a nine. They just bring you up to a nine. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty high dc. But if I do I it wouldn't four waste times, it. never mind. I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Rob, I'm go. trying to find the handle to turn him around. I'm not having any luck. Oh, there it is. Okay. It was at the top. Oh, okay. Right. I got it. Okay, I want to... Okay. Okay, so he is going to do Steam Breath attack. Steam Breath? Yeah. Ew. So he shoots hot steam in a cone, uh, a 60 foot cone. Gross. Okay. This is backfiring on you. Wow. Okay, so uh, I guess you'll show us who all is in the. All, yeah. all, all of us. <laughs> uh, That's 50, so it'd be 60 feet. How far away am I from him? Joe, right here. No, I'm not too far. Yeah, but you're in it. We're yeah. all in it, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, we're all in it. We're all in it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Sorry. Jeez, man. Okay. So, yeah, everybody make a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. It's only a plus one for me. Ten. You gotta go into your saving throws. Constitution. I got yeah, a twenty. You, got, you gotta beat a, a seventeen. I, I got a. Not. I got a sixteen. No, 16? not not for me. I got a. I got a twelve. Yeah, and you gotta beat seventeen. Yeah. Damn it. I got a 19, but I'm unconscious. Yeah, no, you just automatically <laughs> fail. <laughs> Which means you fail your first death save. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. All right. <laughs> I've lost a failure here. Two more to go. It's fine to the end of, the, of our entire group. <laughs> do I get to do a reaction? Or do I have to wait till my turn? Uh, well, you can do a reaction, but let's finish up this first. Okay. No, yeah, reactions are on other people's turns, but I want to do the damage first. Oh, okay. 49 damage for everybody that failed. Oh, my God. Don't forget and the guys and, and, that were and, tied to the posts. And half of that for everybody that's... What's that? Don't forget the two guys that were tied to the first two posts. Well, only one person left. He didn't okay. make it out of the range, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. And the one on the post is dead. And um, and so half of that would be uh, 24 for people who passed. It'd be hard for the village to throw us back to the crab. So I, wait, I was 49, right? If you Did you fail? Yeah, you failed. Yeah, I failed. So we yeah, need full 49. 49 away. I already did, okay. Oh, man. Zoe, uh, Musette and Zoe and Chernobyl are all unconscious already. Yeah, we're all yeah. Uh, I'm out, for sure. I'm on my, my death saves okay. page. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> uh -huh. rolled a constitution save for Bentley yet. Did you roll the save for your celestial guardian? Um, no. Or would he stay up if she's if she's unconscious? I'm because I'm unconscious, so it's a concentration, so I can't. Oh. oh, so it's gone. That'll be gone. Bentley's unconscious. Ralph is still up, and Drovo. 
has to make a constitution saving throw. He made it, so he takes half. <laughs> Drovo's at one hit point. Okay. And the crab folk. I'll just do one roll for all of them. 19, so they all passed. So they're going to take 29 damage. And that's for the little, for the little crabs? Yeah, I have no freaking pack slots. And the huge giant crab is dead. Oh, and the guards. They were in it. Well, it doesn't matter. Even at half damage, they would be dead. Is there any way we can brave Sir Robin and just run away? <laughs> and that's the end of his turn. So we'll go to Musette. Uh, make a death saving throw. So you just roll a 20 sided die, and if you get a 10 or higher, it's a pass. Okay. Oh, come on! Six. Also, okay. Joe's dice was in the way. Yeah, she. Sorry. Okay, so failure. One. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And then Bentley. Okay, Bentley got a three. He got a failure. And then Zoe. Make a death saving throw. One success, yes. One. I got okay. a 13. All right. Uh, Ralph. Yeah. Okay. Can I um, do my reaction? Yeah. From that hit? Okay, I'm going to do a Misty Escape. Okay. And I can, uh, once per short rest, when you take damage, you can use your reaction to turn invisible and teleport up to 60 feet to an okay. unoccupied space. Where are you going to go? 60 feet is so 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm going to be right here. Okay. Okay, so I've hit that now, and now it's time to do my actual action. But that's not yeah. my movement, right? Right. Yeah, that was your reaction from somebody else's turn. So you're now yeah. you're on your actual turn. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my Eldridge Blast, and I want to aim, you know, for his eyes right here, or just this general you okay. know quadrant of his body okay yeah roll to hit Damn. oh yeah 18 i okay. can math i promise he, he's gonna he's gonna use his uh reaction to withdraw in his into his shell and that gives him a plus four bonus to his armor class so he huh? makes that miss <laughs> fuck you well i got another beam i guess i don't mm -hmm. jesus yep yeah go ahead and roll for that one and he's already used it. He only has one reaction per turn. So that's 17 plus seven is uh, how much? That hits. 24. Okay, and then I roll my damage, six. Okay. He takes six damage. Ooh. Ooh. All right. And uh, Chirdovir is next. So make a death yes. saving throw. That gives me a... 13. That's a pass. A pass. Okay. <laughs> Crab Folk A. I hate those guys. <laughs> so these guards are dead. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What is he going to do? He doesn't want to be in range of that steam blast again. He's headed back towards the ocean. Er, yeah. There. And G is also headed back towards the ocean. H He's headed towards the ocean. And I where's I? There. <clears throat> He's gonna make two attacks against Richard and hope to kill him before he goes into the ocean. What a piece of crap. <laughs> Alright, so 
I hear what you're saying about A and G, but also I'm hearing that they're not so much crabs as they're chicken. Right. <laughs> chicken of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Got that it. was a hit. 18 plus 6 and a miss. What'd you get? Uh, 24 to hit. And 10 damage. And then he's going to run for it. So you get a, a an attack of opportunity against the I. So go ahead and roll to hit. 25. That hits. You can roll damage. Six. Six damage. Okay. And then he is headed back into the water. Bye, Felicia. Yeah. Oh, actually, they can double move. I forgot. Oh, okay. Well, he spent one of his actions attacking me. Yeah, he can't. The only only G to double move. Okay. And huge giant crab is dead. And Drovo is in bad shape. He's gonna go over and see what he can do for uh, Churdle here. What's he got on him? All he has on him is his silken sword. <clears throat> he is gonna make a medicine check to see if he can uh, bring you up to one hit point and conscious. Okay. He takes off his bandana thing that he's got wrapped around his head and is trying to use it as a bandage. Hurts bad. That's that's a twenty-one. So he succeeded. Uh, he managed to he managed to wake you up. He says, "Trudovir, Trudovir, I'm so sorry. I don't know how it got like this." Okay, so I've got one point. Yeah. So, yep. You're you're back up, and you got one point. So does Drovo. And then uh, Drovo is going to make a run for it. He says, we should get out of here. Mm -hmm. the, that uh, that big crab shot steam at everyone. Yeah. Are they able to take anything from me since I'm unconscious? Because I've got something that can be used. An item. I don't know how you tell them about it. Yeah. I mean, they were there when I got it. Well, uh, uh, Chernobyl was anyway. But how would you make them think of it? True. Hey, okay, Richard. Oh, yeah, okay. it's your turn. My bad. All righty. Well, um, I look over at Chord. I'm like, buddy, we got to get out of here. Uh, at least out of the blasting path. I'm going to, like, I think I'm going to run a little bit out and over to the left to try to get closer to Drovo. So how, how far can I go in it? Let's say 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Move over you can, here. You can use your action to dash to go. Oh, do a dash, yeah. 30. All right, so I'm going to do another 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I feel like he's uh, he's safe over there, but uh, since he's low on this health, uh, I'm going to do a second wind. Okay. And get once per short rest to regain 1d10 plus 10 HP. Yeah. So find a d10. 10 plus 10, so I get 20 HP back. Wow, that's pretty good. No doubt. That was a clutch heal. All right, so that ends my turn. I'm going to say that I think that those, um, all of the the, the uh, crowd would be gone by now. Yeah. Sure, I'm glad they didn't uh, get mad that we were attacking the crabs and stuff. I guess to some extent they were trying to get rid of it, right? It's kind of uh, it depends on it depends on who you ask. I mean, the, the nice mayor and... Be nice if they were distracting the big crab. Well, the big crab didn't really seem that concerned about who it hit. Yeah, and he's look—he sees you now. 
Ah! Ah! Is it, you were invisible until you cast the spell, and that makes your invisibility go away. Yeah, I know. Okay, so... Uh, I was trying to distract him so someone could come, you know, help him. With what he, he swung it, he, he grabbed at you with one of his claws. Uh, too far away. To hit. 13 to hit. My hit. armor class is 15. Wow, he's rolling really badly. And plus, that's uh, 4 plus 11 is 16. So that one's a hit, right? Yeah. Okay. 4 plus 11 is 15. 15. That's your armor class. So that's my armor class is 15. Uh, oh, okay. Meter B. Yep. 15 damage from his claw. Oh man. And um, you can use strength or dexterity to get out of being grappled by him. <clears throat> strength or dexterity? Yeah. Well, uh, okay, hold on. Well, I will use my dexterity. 17. 18, 19. 19? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you got out. Nice. Yeah, having two pack slots is tough, but warlocks can get him back by doing a short rest, so they can just rest it for an hour and get him back. Yeah. Which is different from, like, wizards and stuff that have to sleep, you know, overnight first. Yeah. And also, your spells don't have levels. They just go, they just get more powerful as you go up levels. Yeah. He still has a bite attack left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's thirty to hit. Thirty. Yeah. Yeah, he hits. Twenty-three damage with from his bite. Twenty-three damage. And uh, I have nothing that is protecting me. Uh. I do have my cloak of displacement. Does that give me advantage? Um, that gave him that gave him disadvantage on attacking you. Uh, yeah, take damage. So wait, then I need, but I didn't know that. I didn't roll with disadvantage. No. Oh. Okay, he missed. So you don't get <laughs> that damage. Thank flip. Okay, so you're still up. Nice. And. That's his turn. And now it's Musette's turn for death save. Death save. Death save. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, there we go. I'm making sure that his dice is out of the way. Thank you. 15. Okay. That's so a that's pass. success. And Bentley's death oh, save yeah. is a pass. Okay. And Zoe? Fail. Okay. I got a two. All right. And then Ralph. It's Ralph's turn. And then Chertovir will be up next. Okay, I'm going to Eldridge Blast. Two beams. What do I got to roll? Oh, oh, you mean what? what is his armor class? Yeah. 18. Oh, snap. Okay. <clears throat> but he can boost it when he hides in his shell. Okay. Well, that's a, so that's a 13. So the first one misses. Okay. You got two, two of them though, right? Yeah. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 21. Uh, the second 21. beam is 21. Okay. Um, that hits. Okay, so I roll my for my damage. Four. Okay. Wait, I thought it was plus three. You see, so you rolled a one. Yeah, I rolled a one. Okay. All right. Got it. So, woo. there you go, yeah. guys. I did All a right. Fraction more. <laughs> Chertovir. Yes. Um. So what I'm gonna do is. Even though I'm pretty hurt, I am going to turn towards the, the giant crab. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go over to where Zoe is. 
Okay. Okay. And then, and then I want to fire a Numa bullet. Uh, and I'm casting it at fifth level, Numa okay. bullet to the giant crab. So I use my two hands and I go like. All right. <clears throat> roll, so, roll the hit. Okay, I'm casting that spell. I'm rolling to head. I got a 13. 13. Total to hit? Yeah, I got a 3 plus. No, okay, yeah, that, plus. that missed. Ah, okay. Right. Okay, and with the crab folk. All right, they are coming back. Oh, they're coming back. Okay. No, oh, but he's a little cautious. Drovo, seeing you out there, he's going to try to help too with his one hit point. Okay, and he's going to do, let's see, as a bonus action, he's going to do a uh, step of the wind chooses a key point that gives him an extra 45 he's going to climb up onto its back where hopefully it can't reach him and just start pummeling so first he's going to attack twice with his silken sword well actually that's all he can do because he already used his bonus action 19 to hit and it's going to use a reaction to withdraw, so he missed on that one. And another 19, so that hits. 10 damage. And now it's Richard's turn. Um, did I end up getting that uh, that pistol back from Chur, or has he still got it? Uh, I thought you got both. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I handed it to you. Okay. So um, I brandish my pistol. I'm probably going to use that, but let me check my inventory and put it on. Boom. There we go. What's the range on your pistol? I think it's 50. Yeah, it's 50, and then in parentheses, 150. So 150 is at disadvantage. I don't get it. So 50 is your normal range, and 150 feet is at disadvantage. So I could potentially shoot... 150 feet away, but I'd have to roll twice. And take and the lower number in. Oh, I didn't know that. But it look kind of looks like you're more than 50 feet away right now. You might have to move a little closer first. Um, As far as uh, how close do I have to... Do I have to just be able to touch... Oh, his, I was looking at... I was foot? looking at somebody else. That's seven, But yeah, you're... You're more than 50 feet away. So if I shoot the tip of his foot, that, that counts as hitting him? Yeah, you could do that. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, then I am going to use uh, my movement action to move up 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And I'm going to shoot. Okay, roll to hit. All right. 22. Okay, that hits. What's your damage? Wow. I literally rolled snake eyes. Four. Okay. And you get one more shot, right? Yeah. 27 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. And five for damage. Okay. All right. You've, you've taken some chips out of him. Oh, yeah. Little bitty ones, but there you yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. Rome wasn't built today. Yeah. And <clears throat> now it's Emmett's turn again. 
it uh, it reaches up to try to grab at Drovo and try to shake him off. Uh, and he can't reach because of the the way his joints are. So Drovo just needs to make a dexterity check to stay on. So I'm going to say he's got a beat of 15 to stay on. There. 23. So Drovo is able to stay on there like a rodeo and uh, keep on kicking and attacking with his one hit point. And that was its turn. It's being totally distracted by Drovo right now. Top of the round is Musette's turn for a death save. Sorry. Sorry, it was seven, I failed. Okay. And, so I'm currently uh, at two fails, one one um, success. success. Bentley got a success. Okay, and then Zoe. Okay, fingers crossed. And then it'll be Rob's ah, turn. That's 19! All right. Woo! Another success. Another success. Woohoo! All right, Ralph's turn with your 16 hit points. So Eldridge Blast to this mug. Okay, roll to First hit. roll is a... <laughs> it's 12. 12 total? Yeah. Okay, that's a miss. Second roll, 16. Uh, that's also a miss. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I'm going through everything I got. Uh, okay. uh, back to Chertovir. Rolling like shit. Okay, so back to me. Let's see. I'm still kind of wobbly, standing in the middle of the sand, but I'm still going to try, like, okay, I can do this. Uh, I can do and this. And you see these crab folk are kind of uh, gingerly sneaking up towards you. Oh, snap. Okay, I'm going to stumble a little closer to the crab. Uh, okay. I can't go too far. Let me just let me just go over here because I don't want to leave uh, Zoe unprotected. They seem a little emboldened by the fact that it's not shooting steam at anybody and it's distracted by Drovo uh, being, you know, climbing on its shell. Okay, okay. So, hmm. I have a dagger of poison. Can I throw that? Yeah. Uh, I think it has, it should have throwing stats on it, though. It's only going to be like 20 feet. Ah, uh, range 20 feet to 60 feet. Yeah, That's... so 60 would be disadvantage. Oh, I see. How far are we from uh, number A or letter A? Just a moment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, more than 20. Okay. 30 feet away. Huh. Okay, let me check. Let me rethink that strategy. I have a scroll of incendiary cloud. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to cantrip a ray of frost at uh, cool. letter A. Okay. Let me check the ray of frost. That uh, incendiary one might have hit all of those guys. Yeah. What's the how how big of an area does that affect? 20 radius sphere. Yeah, yeah, you could have hit all of those guys with that. And Not that I'm giving you advice damage. if you want to do a cantrip instead, that's okay. Well, what spell, what level is this incendiary cloud? It's an eighth level spell. Oh yeah, you can't cast eighth level spells. So yeah, you'd have to make an ability check. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast uh, Maximilian's Earth and Grasp. Okay. It has a range area is 30 feet. I choose a five, five foot square and occupied space on the ground. A medium head, hand made from compacted soil rises there and reaches for a creature I see within five feet of it. So I want to grab A with okay. earth and grass. The target must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes 2d6 bludgeoning damage and is restrained for the spell's duration. Okay. To a minute. As an strength act, saving throw. Okay, yeah. What number does he have to beat? He says here, strength 15. Okay, he got a 14. Okay, so he's he's grabbed by the hand, right? Yep, and you go ahead and roll the damage. 2d6. 2d6, let's roll the damage. Looks like he's got six points of damage. 
Okay. He's hurt really bad and he's grabbed. Yeah, like plus I, six like I medicine. said, if you looted me, <laughs> I have something you could use right on me. <laughs> you have plus six to medicine check. You could stabilize her. What? Medicine plus six. You could stabilize her. But that would be an, that's an action to do that. Yeah, it's an action. Okay, then I guess I don't have anything else to do. Okay. Well, this guy's going to attack you. Uh, 18 plus six. Ah, that hits. I got one. Yeah. Point. Okay, so I'm, I'm down. Yeah, you take five damage and he's grabbing you, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm unconscious. Yeah, I guess I call them all to come over and beat me up because I put one of theirs on. Yeah. I'm a terrible player. Well, they, they were already headed towards you anyway. Yeah. Now it's Drovo's turn again. He's going to attack twice. That's a hit. And I think a miss. Yeah. 12 damage. And then he's going to do a, fury, a flurry of blows and kick him twice. Natural one and a miss. Okay. I'm going to say with the natural one, he fell off. When he was kicking, he slipped and fell down off of the back there. And it's Richard's turn. All right. Sensing... Uh, the fact that Musette is about to die. I'm going to run over to her and try to, to revive her. Four, five, six. And then what do I do? Just medicine? Uh, yeah. Do you have, yeah, medicine check. I didn't do anything. <laughs> what, what'd you roll? Well, I rolled a one. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Um, you 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 realize that you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, shake her a little bit. I'm like, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for trying. It, it's like you know, like that's that scene in Blade where Whistler is lying there dying, and he's dabbing at him with little things of cotton. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Yeah. Realizing okay. uh, she's not getting up. Um, I'm just going to kind of squat down a little bit and, and just be in a defensive mode and try to like use her as a shield. Use her as a shield. <laughs> uh, that's clowning. Oh man! I just wait for my next turn because that's all I can do. Okay, he's gonna. Uh, so it's Emmett's turn now. He's gonna take one swipe at Ralph. Look at his placement. Go. Oh, natural twenty. Fuck you. Oh right, natural cloak of displacement. That's a 14, 20 to hit. Miss. 20 misses? I, I thought you said 14 with the with the disadvantage. Four, 14 plus 6. He rolled a 14. Oh. So my cloak of displacement did nothing. <laughs> oh, no. It's Sorry, it's not plus 6. It's uh, plus 11. Uh, okay. Let's stop you from a critical hit. Yeah. Okay, so what's that putting me at? 16 damage. No! Oh, that's and, what you're at. And I'm dead. You're not dead, you're unconscious. I'm unconscious. Yeah. I'll just take a little nap. And then he's going to turn. I'm all tuckered, all tuckered out. out. Yep. <laughs> Where is his handle? I, keep, I can never find that. Is it that green one? No. He, he's going to turn towards Richard. I guess he kind of stepped on Drovo a little bit. He's going to make another attack. 22, 23 to hit. The damage. 27 damage. And then make a, a make a, an escape DC grapple check. 19. Wait. No, that's what, that's exactly what you needed to get out. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. And uh, so then he doesn't get to bite at you because normally he would grab you and pull you up and bite at you. So that's his turn. So at the top of the round, uh, before Musette's turn, you see uh, Frank Delgado uh, comes out of the uh, comes out of the bushes and he says, "Hey!" And uh, he he pulls out this his giant minigun and starts firing it at uh, Emmett. Let's go. 
That's the guy that had the fire demon in his hand from the computer. Yeah. Yep. Frank Delgado, my hero. One is a miss. And 22 to hit. So he hits. 11 damage. Oh. And he's going to use uh, action surge to do it again. That's a hit. And I can't bring that. Oh, and a miss. 16 damage. Oh, and as a bonus action, he's going to fly up in the air to make himself out of reach. Okay. Yeah, that's his turn. And now it is Musette's turn. Yay! All right. Oh. Okay. Three. And that is my third failure. Oh yeah, Musette is dead. That's is that that's our first official death, right, in the game. Yikes. Yeah. Aha. Uh. I'm free. Aha, Ralph. <laughs> you beat me to it. I tried. <laughs> Bentley. No. See you in Valhalla. Bentley got a failure. As long as Zoe makes it back, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Next is, next is Zoe. Come on, baby. Five. Okay. So that's a failure. I'm two and two now. Yeah. Now, Ralph. Ralph, Ralph. Yeah, what do I got to roll? Uh, Roll a 20 sided die. And then you have to get a 10 or higher to pass. 17. All right, that's a pass. Yeah. But that's the end of my turn, right? Yep. Now, okay. Chertovir. Okay, so, so you have to put a, a, an X mark in the pass for uh -huh. Ralph. Or in the success. So I'm rolling a D20. Yep. I've got a 16, so I passed success. Now it is the crab folks' turn. This one's going to attack Richard. It'd sure be nice if someone could fly. Natural one and uh, 20 something. Oh, I thought that's... Musette could oh, Musette man. could fly. She could. God rest her soul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you take uh, 10 damage. Oh my gosh! And uh, make a make a grapple check again. Strength probably right. Mm hmm. Oh, natural twenty. I get a thirty. Okay. Yeah, you totally get out of that. Not. Cha 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 cha. This Just one. Bug him real hard. This one uh, runs at Frank and swipes at him, but he uh, flew up in the air, so he couldn't get him. And that's it for the crabby folk. They're all in really bad shape, by the way. Uh, and then it's Drovo's turn. He's going to climb up on its back again with a dexterity check. Is that a natural one? Stupid huh. online dice. Yeah, he slipped and fell. And he's going to use half his movement to get up again. And then he's just going to attack it from the ground. Oh, just stab it in the butt already. Yeah. 16 to hit is a miss. And another 16 to hit is a miss. And he's going to use another flurry of blows. That's a hit. And miss. So he got one punch in. Yeah, that wasn't a very good round for him. Richard, you've got crab folk starting to converge on you. And Emmett is attacking you. Uh, yeah, you're right. So I have to do what I got to do. I got to spin around and attack. I. I have okay. to attack. I. Okay. Uh, With my sword. 
26. That hits. And 10 damage. Okay. And that one did not go down. So I hit him again. Okay. <gasps> oh. I rolled a 10. To hit? Okay, that missed. Dang. And so I... You know, I guess I'm going to have to side skirt up here a little bit. Okay. Right here. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, I guess that's all I can do for now. So, you're, you've kind of gone out of reach. So, he's going to turn towards Drovo. I think this is probably the end for him. That's a nine to hit. And that's a hit. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he hit him. It's a lot of damage. He's unconscious and he's holding him in his uh, claw and he's going to uh, reach up to bite him. And instead of just doing regular bite damage, he swallows him whole. Ah! Trevo. Jeez. Now I'll go on to Bentley. Bentley got a natural one, which normally would count as two failed death saves, but he was already at, he only needed one failure, so Bentley is dead. No pressure. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. Zoe. I'm dead. Three. Would, oh, okay, so Zoe's, I see two successes and one failure on your thing here. No, I've got two and two. Oh, that's not what it's showing on my screen. Okay. It says two and two on mine, so now it says three and two. So I'm uh, dead, dead. Dead. Okay. Dead. Got it. <laughs> oh, hey, Ralph. This is my uh, another saving throw. Yeah. Uh, 12. 12? So you passed. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. my second. Saving through. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. And Chertovir. I'm still here in case some sort of miracle happens. <laughs> I don't have anything that can raise the dead. I think Chertovir does. I do. Loot me. She's <laughs> dead too. <laughs> Loot my body. <laughs> Chertovir got a six. Yeah, if somebody wants to do that, they can make like an intelligence check or something to see if they would remember that. Uh, but anyway, whose turn is it now? We're on uh, Trudelbeer, making a death save. I officially oh, he's, he's been talking, I guess. He, we can't hear him. I feel like it's been getting can softer and softer. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, barely, yeah. yeah. Okay, I got a six, so I failed my death okay. save. Okay. I'm with one success, one failure. Okay, got it. And it's now the crab folks' turns. Okay, this one is going to attack Richard again. Miss. And 18, I think, is a miss, right? No, my armor class is 18. Oh, okay. So, nine damage. Nine damage. Yeah, from I. Okie dokie. And make a grapple check. 24. Okay, yeah, you got out of it. And then the other one that was swinging at Frank is going to turn towards you. That is a uh, 20 to hit and 17 to hit. So the 20 hits, right? Yeah, the 20 hits. He, he Five damage from him and another grapple check. Oh, shit. Five damage, boom, grapple, 24. Okay, yep, you're not, they're not grabbing you. And this one goes over here and also swings at you. Miss, miss, they got two fours. And this guy, I don't know what he's doing. There, he goes there, okay. That's the crab folks' turn. 
Drovo inside of the stomach acid of the uh, of Emmett gets an automatic failure. Man, all that because he got a natural one trying to climb on its back. Okay, and then Richard, your turn. All right, so I am going to um, I want to keep slashing at I. Okay. So I swing. And uh, which ones are around you? Let's see. A is like almost dead. And G is also almost dead. Well, just you can I'm tell by looking at him. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm swinging it. Uh, G. Okay. I'm at a 16. That hits two G. Yep. He's dead. And I swing it A. Okay. For a 19. That hits. 11 damage. He is also dead. Okay, yeah, there's only two left. Okay, yeah, I'm good. If I run, I'll get opportunity attack, so I stay where I'm at. Okay. I mean Emmett's turn. He's going to swing at Richard, I guess. 9 plus 11 is 20. 20. 24 damage. So I think we've got the whole party down, right? I still have a saving throw. I got Oh, um, did you hit me? I still got, I got 12. Huh? Yeah I, yeah, I just said 24 damage. Oh, I didn't. Sorry. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, you're at one hit point because she cast that spell on you at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, the Death Ward. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Thank you. Yay, Zoe. Wow. Avenge me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, make the grapple check because he's grabbed you. He, he was going to automatically succeed on that and swallow you, but now you're, uh, you're conscious, so you can get out of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Twelve. Yeah, that doesn't get out of it. So he's then he's a... he's gonna bite you. Twenty damage. But he didn't swallow you this time. He just bit you. Okay. Good know. Good you know. Yeah. So now at the top of the round, uh, Frank uh, goes into a rage. Now he's gonna do two uh, two attacks with his thirteen damage. It's starting to look a little hurt. Ralph. Okay. Ten. Okay, that's a success. So Ralph is unconscious but stabilized. Okay. Success. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Chertovir. Yes. Uh, my turn to do another uh, saving throw. Yep. Does Ralph get any hit points back? No, no, just still unconscious, but stabilized. So you're not, uh, you don't have to do death saves anymore. You're just oh. kind of lying there. N oh, natural one. Yes. Uh, natural one counts as two failed death saves. Ah! Well, I'm out. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Richard Smitty, you're only And hope. a natural, a natural 20 uh, gives you two successes and, or can bring you up. What a way to go. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm not going to play this by myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, at this point, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what happened with it and I'll let you guys know. Okay. So I'll, I'll have to kind of, I'll run, I'll run through it. Um, I'll run through the rest of it. Okay. So. I have a title for for this episode. <laughs> What's that? We're all killed. No, a terrible case of crabs. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I, I I can't do it. <laughs> wow! No, I can't do it. This is a first for us. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually die. No. So right. wait, yeah, who who is left alive? Me and Richard. I still have my throws to save. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, let's yeah, let's go ahead and, and run through those. 
if you can. Sure. Um, I wish there was just a death save button I could click. Is there not? Uh, I don't know. I don't use those. Oh, just hit the D20. Four. Okay, that's a fail. Eight. Not another fail. Those online dice suck. Twelve. That's a pass. Three. Seventeen. Pass. You're having a comeback. Okay. Oh. We're on the edges of our seats. Eight. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. oh shit. Oh. Just pretend like that one didn't count and do it again. <laughs> oh god. Oh wait, actually I can because I have indomitable attack. Oh. One of my limited use actions clear yeah. all is indomitable and when you you can reroll a saving throw that you fail. Okay. Yeah, reroll. 13. Oh, oh. Wow, that was the difference between being dead or alive is reading your character sheet. For real, it really is. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yes. Oh man. Yeah, Woo! I'll I'll work through this and figure out what happened and and uh we'll figure out the aftermath of, of it and and uh and get back to everybody. The finger. I'm sorry. Oh, so, yeah. That's quite a cliffhanger. Everybody is yeah. unconscious. Yeah. Big defeat. Oh my gosh. Uh all right, guys. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us for this game. And yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty huge defeat. We we had a oh, oh, God. That <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's harsh. Yeah. Rob did that. <laughs> we died. We died hard. Wow. Big hug for everybody and enjoy your yeah. weekend, okay? Yeah. 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 Wow. Party wipe. <laughs> uh, TPK, right? Total party kill. Total party mm. kill. Yeah. Is it Richard hanging on with just by a thread, though? Yes. So. Yeah. Not, and, not completely and, total. And and Ralph. Ralph is alive. Yeah, and Ralph. Yeah. Barely. Yep. At least they're breathing. Yeah. <laughs> We can work with that. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have subscribed. You can find the Clive Barker podcast wherever you find audio. Show notes for this episode, as well as news and reviews, can be found at our website at www.clivebarkercast.com. The Clive Barker podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Watch for our annual Kickstarter fundraisers to get some cool stuff, and you can buy t-shirts on our TeePublic store. Go to TeePublic.com and search for BarkerCast. Thanks for listening. <laughs>